Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Virgo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. And just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose, so you could ask me a question in the comment section. And I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. Sorry, I haven't made any videos lately, but I have been traveling, so... Uh, God willing, everything should be going back on schedule. All right, I scurried the crystal for you today. And the image I saw within the crystal for you, Virgo, was an angel. And it appeared almost immediately. And the angel had very large white wings and had a white robe. And the angel that appeared had a long uh, brown beard, but it was like a style, like almost braided. So it kind of almost looked like the, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, so forgive me if I got it wrong as far as the era, but it was either the Sumerian era where they had like those uh, beaded, bra not beaded braids, um, braided like beards. And there was angel was wearing a hat like uh, a ruler would wear back in that day, but it was an angel and they were holding some type of like wand or stick in the sky. So um, it was very interesting. So how I interpret this is that you are very divinely protected here, Virgo. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you was the Queen of Coins. So with the Queen of Coins being here, this is Earth energy. This is your energy, very grounded, financially stable, abundance. Uh, the Queen of Coins is someone that is either financially independent or being financially taken care of. But regardless, it's lots of financial abundance. Next card out for you was the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords being here, there could be negative people around you that are jealous, that are trying to sabotage you, that are coming from a hateful energy. These are people that are trying to cause arguments and disputes with you. Next card out is the Three of Cups. So this could have already happened or is going to be taking place here with the Three of Cups at a social gathering. This could be uh, friends or family that are doing this to you or co-workers. Take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. Next card out for you is the Eight of Coins. You're being told just to keep working. Stay in that grounded earth energy. Keep moving towards your goals. Next card out for you is the Judgment card. So it's letting you know here with the Judgment card that God is going to be giving them karma for what they have done to you. They are going to receive some type of divine judgment from God. So it's letting you know just basically to put it in God's hands and keep working towards your goals. Next card out is the Hangman. So you could be in your head about this, about the situation of what these people have done to you. But it's letting you know here with the High Priestess to trust your first instinct. Trust those spiritual gifts that God has blessed you with because it's letting you know that you know on some deep level that they're going to get payback from God. Next card out for you is Cosmic Weaver Potency. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that you have a spiritual gift. In a past life, you were either a prophet or a high priestess. And it's letting you know with the Cosmic Weaver here potency that you have many past lives of being a spiritual healer. And that you are able to travel to different dimensions, either in the dream world or in the walking world. You walk two paths in this dimension and the um, supernatural celestial dimension. So beautiful, powerful energy there for you. Next card out for you is Sycamore Subconscious. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that you will be able to reveal things even about your past life in your subconscious state. You know, stay around water, taking a hot bath, relaxing, meditating, releasing things that are uh, causing you anxiety. You know, take time to let whatever comes to the surface come up to the surface from the subconscious and then release whatever is negative and hold on to the good messages that are coming in. The sycamore tree has lots of medicinal benefits, one of which was helping with dysentery. So it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are worth looking into. It could help also with colds as well. So, you know, all in all, I see a really powerful, beautiful reading here for you, Virgo. And, you know, just know that these people that are doing wrong to you are going to receive judgment from God. All right. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.